In this video, I would like to speak about timing and how timing can benefit your life outside of the ring. So firstly, I will talk about timing as a martial artist, as a professional fighter. Um, we have to develop that timing of our strike, when's the right time to strike, when's the right time to not strike. So ultimately, timing becomes intelligence, experience, and it's been said that timing overpowers speed. Okay, so if you're not so fast, but you have perfect timing, it's better than speed. Of course, having speed, power, and everything is gonna be more beneficial, but if you don't have speed, timing itself, the placement, the time when to move, the time when to react, and so forth. So timing is such a powerful skill and an important skill to use in combat sports and in, in fighting. So, you know, when, when's the right time? Pah! Hit the shot. So now I want to talk about timing in life, in communication. Now, as a, as a public speaker um, who does interviews, who does commentating, um, I've learned the art of timing in life. The timing in conversation, timing when, when, when talking with someone. And a few of the attributes of good timing requires patience. It requires being a good listener. It requires being humble. It requires the ability to listen, not overreact when you feel like something's coming up. Just like in a fight, you overreact and just go, you gotta wait, 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 then bang, there's the time to attack, which is perfect timing. So the art to this timing to help you in life is by listening, to be the observer, to listen to people talking to you, to be a good listener is one of the key things to timing in life, not just they're talking and then just try to talk over the top of them. They're talking and just try to talk over the top of them. So you're not, you're not being patient. You're not being the observer. You're not showing that skill set of waiting, being confident. See, timing is actually confidence to know that you don't need to overpower, over talk, overextend. You can sit back, listen, and when it's the right time, boom, that's when you, that's when you answer, that's when you have your say back. So. You have more poise, you have more sting to the words that you say if you hit it at the right time. So timing in life, in conversation, this is intelligence. An intelligent fighter, in most cases, will always overpower just a brawn brutality fighter. Of course you need the, the mixture of both to be a super champion, but that timing is the key. So when you're having conversations with your girlfriend, your boyfriend, with your boss, or if you're interviewing, use this skill of timing to deliver such perfection in when it's time for you to speak, after listening, calculating the thoughts, and knowing when to strike. Knowing when to talk, when to strike back. Okay, so timing, is key to communication. Timing, as we just went through, is the key to success in fighting, overcoming speed through timing. So don't allow the inner dialogue that's wanting to jump over and say what it has to say while someone's talking. Sit back, be patient, be intelligent, be the observer, be humble, wait, Boom, then deliver. So this is how timing in fighting can transfer over to your life, especially in a relationship in this time of the virus where people are getting a little bit more, ah, you know. Allow your partner to talk, listen. Don't just talk over the top. Don't just get your point across. Listen, observe, be intelligent. Use intelligence and then speak say what you need to say at the right time. How do you practice timing? In fighting, you practice timing by drills. How do you practice timing in life? 
You practice it by communicating. Practice the right time to time. Someone just has to get a power drill going. Practice the same timed timing with conversation and you'll get better with the more you listen. Okay, my time again, more listen, my time again. I'll finish there before we start drilling. Thank you.